I'm curious about your scars. The scars came from adventuring. Most of them are barely visible, thanks to the one. From a distance, it may appear to be a dash of paint. A girl's attempt to look menacing. Upon closer inspection, you'll see some mark of a burn. There must be a story behind the burn. When I was a flowering young maiden, I once had many suitors. Men would travel great distances to see the diamond of Riverwood. My sister, on the other hand, had no suitors to speak of. She was far more talented than I, a mage worthy of studying at the College of Winterhold. What she was not, unfortunately, was pretty. And how did that affect your relationship? We'd fight often about the smallest of things. Although they were never really about who was supposed to wash the clothes or sweep the floor. It was always about her envy and my lack of compassion. Eventually, one argument got rough. The hand she struck me with was cloaked in fire. Siblings fight. Burning you was a little excessive, however. So the little princess got burned. Cry some more. Oh, no. First one. Siblings fight, but that's a little uncalled for. No, I deserved it. Not the flames, but the slap. Make no mistake, I was a real bitch. Beauty tends to make monsters of us all. She didn't intend to burn me, of course, no. Just all of that anger, that rage, manifested itself into fire. You seem rather understanding of the whole ordeal. Ah, the world is safe, Alduin's dead. No, you seem understanding. Now, but not then. Oh no, I was sufficiently devastated. My beauty was all they had. It defined me. But it was the ugliness that hurt the most. The way people, not just men, looked at me. Always with that cringe. They all do it. Even the polite ones can't help themselves, no matter how hard they try to disguise it. When you're beautiful, every word is met with a smile. When it's gone, the whole world is shrouded in darkness. I couldn't loathe my sister for what she did. Not now that I know her pain. Yes? Wait, is there more to it? You go, I'll follow. Oh, I wasn't sure if there was going to be more to it. I didn't know if you were done talking. I'm right here. Yeah, well, guess what? The world is safe. Alduin's dead. And I did not doubt you for one minute, my lord. You are the Dragonborn. The savior of Skyrim. My rescuer, my champion, and my best friend. I haven't known you for that long. <laughs> they will shout your name across meat holes, great and small. Now, until the end of time. We haven't been friends for all that long. <laughs> You're my best friend as well, but I'd like to be more. Let's return to this conversation topic another time. I'm right here. Does it stay there? Does that conversation topic stay there? Wait, I don't see it now. Wait, where is it? You go, I'll follow. Oh, don't tell me that locks me out of it now, because I didn't choose it. Hmm. Okay, I just right reloaded here. the save and the dialogue options back, so. You go, I'll follow. Should be good. Well, let's journey onward, Zora. How's it feel to be back home? Does the stone look different at all to you? Uh, no, it's the same old Riverwood. Yes, I bet Sigrid is still hectoring Calvul like a pet dog. And speaking of which, it's good to see Stump is still alive too. I forget how he got his name. I think it's because he's always curled about like a stump. Did you ever own any pets? Just one. When I was little, I often went out into the woods to collect flowers. 
It was there that I found the dirtiest, mostly ridden mongrel in all of Skyrim. He was also very adorable. The way his fur hung over his tender grey eyes, I called him Sir Cuddles. And I was in love. How did the rest of your family react when you brought the dog home? My mother was furious. Yet my father had a soft spot for his girls, so he tried to find a practical reason for why Cuddles couldn't stay. He pointed to how sick the dog was and how dangerous diseases were in the wild. I cried all night, burying my face in my hands. I never even noticed that my sister was gone. When did she return? It was hours before dawn when the door creaked open, and I saw my sister with a healthy Sir Cuddles trundling on behind her. She spent last of her savings on a hog feather and a charred skiver hide, and even brewed the potion herself. <laughs> Silly me, my instincts were to hug the dog. Ah, but looking back, it's the memory of my sister's compassion that I truly covet. It appears Delphine isn't just an innkeeper. Yes, my Jarl. I am shocked. Absolutely shocked and... Well, I guess I'm not really all that shocked. Delphine's always been a little rough around the edges. And inside the edges. Mostly she's just rough. Yeah. I think Yaramir is convinced she's a Daedric prince. Or Gnar too, but he doesn't like to show his displeasure. She's a member of the Blades, the Emperor's personal guards. Before the Oculatus. The Emperor's personal guard? Does that make you him? I apologize for selling you short, my Emperor. I'll allow it, don't worry. But Awit has sooner guessed that you were Titus Meadet than Delphi was a blade. <laughs> that it doesn't suit her. It's just that there are many guilds and groups in Tamriel, full of strong warriors with terrible fashion sense. Delphi fits right in with all of them. Accurate. Frankly, accurate. You go, I'll follow. Some say gems are a girl's best friend, but I doubt you would sell your best friend for money. Uh, you don't know that for sure. I never asked. What happened to your sister? Well, my sister doesn't come to Riverwood very often. But she sends a letter every now and then, just to let me know she's alive. She can take care of herself, but that does not mean I don't worry. <laughs> I'd like to meet your sister who, you know, slapped you and scarred you for life. She sounds fun. Well, where does she live? Oh, I think she moves around. She can't really live in a city. She's kind of a witch. A witch? When did that happen? That is hard to say. I guess she's always been a bit different, and good with magic. I don't want to say she was born a witch, but at the very least, she's not your typical mage. When did you last speak to her? Uh, two years? Three? I'm very poor with time, especially when I'm adventuring with my favorite companion. As for her last letter, well, that has also been a very long time. Too long, which makes me worry. We should stop by the Sleeping Giant Inn. Maybe someone has heard something. Uh, Nazim, I just saw you teleport. Do you get to the teleportation district very often? District oh my god, often. I'm going to kill you someday. In other dimensions, in other timelines, I already have. But I'll be back for you, rest assured. Greetings, Gore. That armor looks like it could use a polish. <laughs> so does your pitch, boy. Oh, boy. Didn't I tell you last time to be Ragnar, have more you heard specific? anything about Jocelyn? Where is yeah, Gore? Yeah, I've your business. sister walking out the door. The stain on their chest really? You know she doesn't like to be seen in Riverwood. Why did she come? But you Don't know, but some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Rogue wizards, down in Falkreath. Do, do you think they found her? I'm starting to get worried. Worry about yourself. Oof. This is grave news, my hero. Bounty hunters will not spare a known witch. If my sister has fled to Falkreath, she might try to cross the border. You know, that's how I got kidnapped. That's how I got captured. 
Bounty hunters are notoriously weak. My gold's on your sister. Too bad that's what you get for embracing the dark arts. At this point, there's little we can do. I'm sorry. It's possible she's fled to safety to Cyrodiil. Security is lax these days. Yes, but the Jiro Mountains are not an easy climb, especially traveling alone. She might have been turned back. We must hurry to Falkreath. I want to check the barracks. If by chance she was caught and healed, that we might be able to save her. From the barracks. That sounds particularly dangerous. Like, are we just gonna go in and break her out of prison? No, 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 now's not the time to drink. I'm right here. <laughs> I know you're right here, but we gotta go. I'll meet you inside the Falkreath barracks. Of course. Gonna move on, little lady. What a dark and dreary night. I guess this is the perfect time to try and find a captured witch. In the dead of night, rain pouring down, the thunder crashing around us. Really sets the tone, you know? Oh, hey, Zora. Look, we found her. Hi. Oh, you're, nope, never, never mind, you're not her. So what now? <laughs> right behind you. Just wanted to see if she had anything to say. A visitor. Always good to see a new face. Don't mind me, though. Just think of me as dust on the wall. You're an awfully big speck of dust. And you better stay that way or you'll end up on the executioner's block. That's too bad, I was hoping to have someone to talk to. <laughs> sure, my lord, I can be that too. A lot of people have told me I'm a good listener, and only half of them were my relatives. What are you in for? Would you believe me if I said I was framed? <laughs> I guess it wouldn't matter much if you did, unless you're the new captain of the guard. Mm, nah. No, I'm just your average horse thief. I suppose my presence here is proof that, uh, I ain't a good one. <laughs> Odd, last I checked, Falkreath didn't have a stable. You've got a keen eye, my lord. Not everyone notices that when I tell them what I'm in for. How did you get caught? It was fear. Plain and simple. I was at the Sleeping Giant when I got approached by two shifty folk with hoods covering their eyes. The first one sits beside me and buys me a drink, while the other stands in the corner. He goes, I hear you're the man to see about a horse. I tell him, sure, my lord, I am. He tells me he needs two. One for him and one for his sweetheart. I'm guessing a Breton girl by the size of her. Was there anything distinctive about this woman? The Breton made me real nervous, always whipping a head round to see if anyone was looking. But it was her hands that caught my eye. She had calluses, tough as a goat hide, and all the dirt in Skyrim under those fingernails. She wasn't built like no adventurer, and she wasn't some college mage living in the city either, if you catch my meaning. I think she was a witch. Sounds like they were on the run. And, <laughs> you know, if she had just put on gloves, it wouldn't have been an issue then. Or she could have been a farmhand, he's not gonna buy it. Of course, that was probably it, my lord. But the way she looked around, it was like she was sizing us all up in case she had to kill us. Like a farmhand would. I almost turned down the job right there, had he not mentioned the Ashwood farm near Helgen. Did you agree to steal the horses? Well, truth is, I was so sore at the Ashwoods, I probably would have stolen the horses for free. But that's no way to make a living. I told the boy I only needed one other rider. The girl could wait for us by Peakshade Tower, and I'd collect the rest of my fee there. Except when the job was done, it wasn't the boy waiting for me at the clearing. It was the witch. What happened next? The whole ride west, I had that hag raven at my back, with all kinds of bad thoughts running around in my head. I don't know what it was that set me off. Maybe it was just the wind. But I laid my heels into that horse and rode as hard as I could into the city. It didn't take long for the guards to figure out the horse wasn't mine. 
But by Yzmir's beard, at least I'm alive. Wait, this mage's name, was it Jocelyn? As a matter of fact, milady, I think it was. You're not acquainted with her, are you? She's my sister. Oh, <laughs> pardon my language, milady. <laughs> If it's any consolation, I'm sure she made it to Cyrodiil. Somehow I doubt that. My girls were waiting for her there for quite some time. Told you the thunder's perfect for this. Evidently, the snowstorm brought her back. And with it, my property. Now don't give me that look, girl. I don't care if your sister lives or dies. Meaning I'm more than willing to let her live. If it saves me the trouble of dealing with you, I simply want what is rightfully mine. And what is that exactly? Girl, this is hardly the place to talk of such things. Come to the graveyard. At least the dead share no secrets. Is that fur? I'd out this of no. Would not no, it's not fur. Uh, creepy old witch is not the most reliable source of information. <laughs> right, leave it to my savior to put things into perspective. Yes, we should only trust her as far as we can throw her. My arms are quite tired. Tell me about it. Oh, she's already gone. She's fast. You're Jocelyn's sister. She never talked much about you, but the girl never talked much at all. I thought she was a sodding mute, which was good. I tired of young people and the endless flapping of their tongues. She made for the perfect apprentice. Jocelyn would never join a coven. Something must have happened. That's another thing about you young people. You think you know everything. So arrogant. For your information, your sister joined our coven and was otherwise happy. Until her greed got the best of her. Of course, it was only a matter of time before I caught the traitor. Which is why she escaped into the very crystal she stole. What do you mean? What crystal? My, you're stupid. And ugly. Oh! The crystal is the property I was referring to earlier. That was unnecessary. Was time for petty insults, which How did she escape into a crystal? Yeah, I like Zora's take on this. Yeah, people. So impatient. The crystal is a key. A portal to another plane of existence. The legends say it would transport you to a paradise of eternal youth. Naturally, for someone of my years, this seemed like an attractive prospect. The devil is in the wording, of course. Eternal youth indeed. It's a curse. Anyone who enters the plane turns into a child. A child of body. And a child of mind. God knows I warned the stupid girl. But young people just do not listen. In any case, the only way to revive the crystal's power is to remove the soul inside it. Thus, our goals are one and the same. Where can we find this crystal? My girls trapped her to Bloodlet Throne, which means she ran from my coven right into a castle full of vampires. Sometimes I wonder if your sister is no ordinary fool, but the kind of fool so foolish that her name should be carved on the tree of all creation. We can kill Margoth later, As right? Jocelyn Fairchild, the mother of all fools. We're coming back for her later, don't worry, Zora. Right. You can tell me what you wish, but I've had about enough of you bad mouthing Jocelyn. 
That would not be wise if you wish to see your dear sister again. I am the only one who can open the portal. I would do it myself, but why risk my life when I can risk yours? In exchange, the girl is allowed to live. I trust we have a deal. Fine, but try anything funny and I won't hesitate to take your head. I'm sorry for that display, my yarn. I know you're not used to seeing me angry. I'm not used to it either. But when I talk to that hag... No, I'm with you. You're fine. Stay calm. We need to keep our minds on saving your sister. The hag will help. What she said about you and your sister. Lies from a stupid old hag. And she's like, I can hear you. I know how you feel. I don't know how I restrained myself. Uh, the second one. It's like, yeah, because we can just laugh about how stupid she is together. My hero is kind, always thinking of his companion. I will do my best to not let her words hurt me. We need her alive. Exactly. Uh, I suppose she's at least honest. I will try to see the good qualities in her, at least until Jocelyn is safe. We can cut her off her head. Agreed. How do we know the witch won't try to kill us? I thought of that. She said saving Jocelyn would be dangerous, and she could very well attack us the first chance she gets. I would not want to leave my hero defenseless. Once Jocelyn is safe and I am sure we don't need her, perhaps I can give you a sign of some sort. How about if I scratch my ear? Nah, it may actually be itchy. How about if I say, I am hungry for a goat roast? Yeah, that will be the signal. You got it. What are you two idiots babbling on about? Goat roast. Let's get going. We're hungry, right, Zora? That's all it is. Just feeling a little hungry. Oh, hey, Gerolith. Are you? Are you cuddling Why that do bread? I keep coming back here. There's really nowhere else suitable. Just cuddling that bread. Target, dummy. Hey. Right here. Hey. Hey. That's uncalled for. You're no prize, you know. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. I don't know what it is. I feel like Blood the Throne is one of those dungeons that I see a lot of mods use. It's one of those dungeons where a lot of people either copy the cell for their own dungeons or people just play stuff in Blood the Throne. I don't know what it is in particular. But I feel like it happens a lot. Let's... Go for Cyclone. Oh, it just insta killed her. Damn. I mean, I'll take it. I'm not going to argue. Yeah, no, you're gonna die when this is over. You're dying when we're done here. Like, what are you getting out of just insulting Zora the entire time? Like, is what do you there? stand to gain from this? Well, I contracted uh, Sanguine Vampirus, so I gotta make sure to cure myself when I get out of here. That being said, and I know it's partially because I'm using two swords and the vampires have no armor, but man oh man, I am just carving a swath through them. Hi, how are you? Oh, what are you gonna do, send the death hounds after me? <laughs> I'm so scared, ooh. I don't know where Maragoth and Zor are. Because they're not behind me right now. Oh. Down you go. Yeah, let's see where they went. Because I kind of need them both with me. If you can't do that... I'll add another stripe 
to your collection. Okay, so you guys were just stuck back there? I wonder what's more dangerous. A drogger's shout or a vampire's kiss? Definitely the vampire kiss. Maybe I have... No potion of cure disease. Damn. I'll get out of here, I'll get back to a city, and I'll pray at a shrine. That'll do it. Let me make sure they're actually following this time. I'm coming, Justin. Just hold on. Do you think she can actually hear you? Of course you must. You're a fool. Yeah, this is why we made a signal. This is why we came up with a code phrase. So we know it's safe to kill Marigoth. Like, what does she think she's doing? Does she realize that she's baiting us? Or no, is she baiting us? Is she trying to bait us into killing her? Maybe she wants us to betray her for some reason. Hmm? You ever think about that? Oh, it looks like that was the last of them. But we should be cautious in case there are others. Wait, where did Marigoth go? There you are. I feel like... <laughs> Anytime I have to come through Bloodlet Throne, once again, because it's used a lot in mods, I feel like people never follow well in Bloodlet Throne. Not sure what it is. Is that it? Is that the crystal? Of course it's the crystal. I didn't come all this way to watch you fools tangle with bloodsuckers. I can't wait for you to get that goat roast. Hug. Can't wait for it. What did you say? Hungry Nag! I think I might be getting hungry. Oh, me too. Me too. Better you stay that way. A girl your size could stand to lose a few pounds. And I thought Gerolith was irredeemable. Now, you both stand still. I'll use the old magic to send you both inside the crystal. As for what you'll find inside, it's anyone's guess. Young people are idiots. Children even more so. Maybe that's what makes the crystal so appealing. They say ignorance is bliss. Well, guess what? It also means you're ignorant. You two want to say any last words to each other before we do this? I can think of a well, few things. Too bad. In you go. Never mind. Oh, the gods. Jocelyn? Welcome to Zor's Field, sister. Sister, you made this for me? Remember that time Mother said it was too warm to go sledding? And I cried, and you cried, and then Father got the idea to throw cotton all over the house instead. Then you said we should plant cotton all over the tundra so that we never have a day without snow. I remember, sister. Every day. Well, here we are, Zora. This is our home. We never have to leave. We never have to cry. Just in a... Come on, sister. Let's go play. It was so warm that winter. River we didn't see an ounce of snow. It all seems so foolish now when Skyrim is so cold. The truth is I never really cared much for snow. I love bright colors. I only pouted because it went so much to her. And maybe a part of me wanted to be that sister again. The one who pretended to care about nothing. To protect the things that meant everything. That day we met, I lied to you. I was on my way to the tundra, but it wasn't for Zora's field. It was always for Jocelyn. Now I know why she joined that coven. It was all for this. She wanted to be a child again. She wanted that feeling of home, but in a place where all the bad memories don't exist. Somewhere far away from Riverwood. Zora, this place, we can't stay here. I know. As much as it hurts me to say this, none of this is real. Just give me a moment to talk to her. We'll say the... Sister? The thunder 
from the real world's kind of Just killing the mood right now. Here. I know at times I've been a bad sister. I should have been there for you when all I cared about was myself. And I know you're sorry for what happened that day. This field, this place, you want to go back to those days when all our memories were beautiful. But sister, we can't. As much as we treasure them, those days are gone. So is every day we grew apart. I love you, Joss. Please come home. No! I'm not leaving! You aren't leaving! You're not my real sister. You're someone else. Okie oh, doke. Well, that's fire. That's some fire. Hey, don't you, don't you float away from me. Oh, I was gonna say, wow, they're really dropping fast, but there's quite a few of them. God damn it, get back here. Oh, a lot of fire, a lot of fire. Oh, I'm glad the whole place isn't on fire. Zora? Don't worry, sister. I'm here. I'm so sorry. Don't be. Give me a moment. I can take us home. Our real home. Alright, when you're ready. Justin, are you okay? Can you walk? I'm fine, sister. Thank you. Are you sure, girl? Are you sure you aren't better off crawling around like a newborn babe? Isn't that the life you prefer? I'm ready, Zora. Say the word. Baragoth? Zora, what's going on? Don't worry, my foolish apprentice. Your whetstone of a sister hasn't betrayed you. You're the only traitor here. All I want is what's mine. Suddenly, I'm feeling hungry for some goat roast. Goat roast? It seems like the crystal has warped your companion's mind. But that's not my concern. Give me the crystal. I'm sorry, but you heard her. Zora is hungry for a goat roast. What? None of you are making any sense. No, it you makes sense. Me my crystal now. Oh, it makes perfect sense. Uh, no! And I'll let you get the final hit. Yeah! Tag team Zora, tag team. I I just want to thank you. I know I tease you calling you my liege and my theme, but on this day you were all that and more. You were not just my companion, my savior, and my hero. You were a true friend. So what will you and Jocelyn do now? First we will go home to Riverwood. And then who knows? Gossiping, bickering, frowing dinnerware. <laughs> All the stuff sisters do. At least neither of you have to worry about Marigoth again. Yes, I do not like judging people by the first impression, but Marigoth was at her 20s and nothing seemed to change. It was a perfect end to a wonderful day. Zora's field was beautiful, wasn't it? You mean Jocelyn's field? Oh, it will always be for her, but that is our little secret. It will be Zora's field until it's ready. Which means I still have much to do. Let us hope this time I can make it through Brutal Shin Pass without getting caught by a necromancer. If not, I'm sure my hero will come fetch me. Sister, I think I'm ready to leave now. Okay, then the three of us will go together. Three of us? Oh, I haven't introduced you to my companion. Sister, I... I'll see you in Riverwood. <laughs> She's very shy. Shall we go find her then? I'm right here. 
What? Two hands are better than one. <laughs> Let's go find her. Are you having some trouble there, Jocelyn? Does that help? There you go. Sometimes all you need is a little help. Good as you? A fine day to you, friend. Oh, May you die with a sword in your hands. Like you've been doing. Do you need something? Yes. Zora and I used to wash our feet in the White River and watch the clouds over Bleak Falls. The view is the same as it ever was. Okay, so there really isn't too much to do with Jocelyn then. So what now? Well, I'm sure we have a lot more adventures where that one All came right. from. Stick with me for a bit. 